as we discussed in previous module that there are three dilemmas when we replicate DNA there are three issues that we need to sort out so how does cell sort out these three issues let's look at the first dilemma we talked about that the lagging strand we said that DNA molecule is separating in smaller is gradually separating the two DNA strands are gradually separating the leading strand can be synthesized continuously because it is being synthesized in the direction in which the two DNA molecules are separating so no problem there but the other strand the lagging strand can only be synthesized in the area where DNA has separated and this strand as we said is sort of being made in the wrong direction because as you can see here there is the three prime end of the template DNA complementary strand would have a five prime end because the DNA is anti-parallel so it's it's pretty straightforward to make the leading strand this is the leading strand however when it comes to lagging strand the when the primer is made the orientation of primer would be that it would be five prime end would be here and three prime end would be here because if we extend this pre, three prime end it will when it becomes complementary to this this base over here it will be also three prime and it will still maintain the anti-parallel feature of the DNA so the lagging strand is made in smaller units as the DNA space becomes available primase will lay down the RNA primer that primer will be extended by DNA polymerase 1 uh, sorry DNA polymerase 3 and after uh, it has done its job it will stop again when the helicase opens up more region of DNA a new primer will be made and DNA polymerase will again extend this primer so this is how the lagging strand is synthesized however there are other issues regarding uh, making the lagging strand primarily it is the RNA primer we need to get rid of RNA in the DNA molecule so the lagging strand is sort of hybrid between DNA smaller pieces and RNA smaller pieces which are the primers so how do we do that so there's another enzyme called DNA polymerase 3 by the way there are three DNA polymerases in E. coli and 14 in eukaryotes we are looking at the eukaryotic system so we have three DNA polymerases one two and three three is the one which is which just synthesized our la uh, leading strand and it has also synthesized the lagging strand the DNA polymerase one comes in and removes it has two activities it will remove the RNA primer which was made initially by primase it will remove that primer and also extend the DNA so the now two DNA as you can see on the screen they are adjacent to each other however there is a gap between these two DNA fragments we need to seal that gap that is done by another enzyme called ligase ligase will come in and it will establish the phosphodiester bond here so now our DNA is a single molecule and it, it is stretching so we have removed the RNA primer and we have made a continuous DNA strand which was initially chopped up which was partly RNA partly DNA we will continue our uh, uh, our efforts to explore the DNA replication in the next module and we will look at the dilemma number two and three